Hey guys, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. This one's going to be about steel and lead, specifically where you can easily farm uh, these junk components because steel and lead is extremely useful for crafting ammo, especially if you are a heavy weapons build. You probably find yourself constantly out of steel and or lead to make your ammo types, whether it be for the minigun or for the 50 cal, which is what I personally use. You can easily eat up steel and lead, especially steel when crafting these. So these are gonna be two locations that I find are very easy to farm these components. And I found that I can get about a thousand plus uh, steel, for example, in maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So it's a pretty good farming strategy and uh, let's just jump right into it. The first location I want to highlight is at the top of the world, which is marked here on the map. You will get to this location through the main quest storyline. It's located a little bit east of Fallout 76 in Flatwoods, kind of in the mountains there. Once you're here, whether you travel to the actual top of the world location or the ski lodge or the railway station area, what you're going to want to do is come up towards the ski lodge, make a right and head towards uh, the enemies that are all kind of gathered in the, to the location that is basically east of the uh, top of the world radio station and that little ski lodge uh, for your area that you can get into. You want to head to the right of that, which is east of it, and just wipe out all the enemies here. And once you've done that, what I would recommend you do is you pick up all the enemies weapons and components that they might have, stuff that you can easily scrap for steel because guns are a very easy way to get steel. Many people perhaps don't know that. It's good to sell guns of course, but one of the best things you can do is just break them down to get steel from them. And in this eastern location, this little gate area, if you go underneath it and look up, you will find that there are these cans that hang from the gate area. They are can alarms and this is the best way I found that you can get steel and lead very easily is you pick these things up and then you just scrap them at the nearest workbench. And then right up here at the ski lodge entrance itself, you'll find that there are usually three sets of these cans, three or more that hang from here. So just go ahead and pick these up. And then right over here, just outside of the ski lodge, in between the top of the world radio station and the ski lodge, you'll find that there are workbenches here that you can use to scrap the junk and or weapons uh, that you've picked up right away that way if you're over encumbered you can go ahead and take care of that straight away and you can see here with these cans when I go to scrap them look how much steel and lead I can get especially steel just from literally a couple minutes and this wasn't even a run where I picked up all the weapons of the enemies and such the mole people are not the greatest for this I find that super mutants and scorched are the best because of the weapons they drop but just look at how much you can get and I only spent a couple minutes doing this the next location I want to highlight is the prison, the penitentiary area, which is located here just a little bit northeast of Fallout 76. It's a lot easier to get to than the top of the world, and the enemies are not usually as highly leveled, so this is a great place that you can get to early on in the game. And just like before, kill all the enemies in the exterior area of the front door of the prison, pick up all their weapons because you're going to be able to scrap these inside the prison on a workbench. If there are no enemies, that probably means someone has already recently gone through this area and cleared it out, so you might want to just server hop at that point. I've done that myself, and almost always the very next server I get into, there's a fresh prison waiting for me to loot it. Once you're done, just head on to the inside, clear out the foyer area. There's some pretty decent junk loot here, like telephones, which have copper and circuitry. If you find that you need those for crafting, like I find myself needing them, then this is a good place. Once again, it's not that there's an exorbitant amount, but if you are server hopping and you're constantly doing this route to get steel, you might as well pick up these other components because you might find that those components are going to add up as well and you might be able to kind of kill two birds with one stone. So just go through, kill all the enemies here in the interior of the prison. If there's ghouls and you're kind of a bit unlucky because they don't drop weapons, but any other type of enemy, just pick up all their weapons. And in the interior part here, you're going to find that there are a few, I think there's maybe about four or five or six sets of these cans that dangle from the ceiling, the can alarms. And once again, you want to pick those up because those are the bread and butter of this strategy for getting your steel and lead. And just go through, clear out the entire interior of the prison. And then once you're done, just head on to the outside, but not the front door that you came in. Go out the other way to the prison yard. 
once you're outside, go through, clear out all the super mutants, pick up all their guns. If you're lucky, you'll get a lot of assault rifles. I find that those tend to give the most back. And if you've got the scrapper perk, I think, I think there's only one level of it. Don't quote me on that. But I know I have it. And the assault rifles give me like 11 scrap back per one. So if you get like 10 of those, that's 100 scrap steel scrap right there. So pretty decent. And there's also one set of cans out here that I saw. If there's more, uh, point them out in the comments down below and I'll try to then attach something to this video to let people know where it's at. But as far as I know, there's only one set of cans out here. So you could skip all this if you really didn't feel like killing the enemies and taking all their guns and such, but it's a good way to get XP. It's a good way to just get free lead and, or free steel because you can get it from their weapons. And there's also a bunch of just crafting kind of workshop areas around here. And if you look in them and you just pick up literally everything, there's quite a bit of junk you can just scrap for steel as well. So that's something to keep in mind when you're doing this part. So that's going to wrap up this video. If it helped you guys out, please leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section below. If you have some areas that you find are good for farming for steel and lead to let you know me know, let some other people who uh, see this video now because like I said if you're a heavy weapons build then man you just tend to burn through the lead and the steel so and even if you're not a heavy weapons build if you just find yourself needing more steel and lead then well hopefully this video will help you get to that point to where you're not having to constantly just go around the map and look for steel and lead if, if I've been able to accomplish that then this video has been a success if I'm able to accomplish that to any small degree obviously it's not going to alleviate it completely but again thanks for watching thank you for your support drop a sub and I will see you in the next video.